Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning, I'm Sierra Cersei. Here are the top stories we're following for you today. President Joe Biden announcing his re-election campaign Tuesday at 80 years old. Age will likely be a campaign issue. Retired Mott College political professor uh, Paul Rosicki says that the key here is for Biden to show he has energy and vitality, but says to watch for Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Marianne Williamson, who could be a challenge for both Biden and former President Trump. Mount Morris police revealing the cause of this massive explosion that you see right here on your screen. Uh, this happened earlier this month. Uh, they say it's now because of a gas leak. Apparently an improperly installed furnace caused the leak in the building on North Saginaw Street. It will now be demolished and roads in nearby uh, will reopen when that debris is all cleared up. The Lavity Rib Fest is coming back to Bay City. Rib Fest returns for its second year at Vets Park from July 27th to 30th. There will be performances from the Little River Band, Rodney Atkins, Fog Hat, and more. Tickets uh, are on our website. Go ahead to the hot link section on WNEM.com. Now here's Matthew with what you need to know to get you out the door. Thank you, Sierra. For today, starting off colder, but also just like Tuesday, we make our way back to around 50 to 51 this afternoon. That's still about 10 degrees below average for this time of year and into tonight we're back down to 32 so we do want to first alert you to the freeze potential again likely going to see another round of freeze warnings through today though expecting drier conditions for pretty much all of mid Michigan it's just going to be a small chance for some isolated showers up in Alcona and Iasco counties otherwise though the rest of the daytime is expected to be dry then into tonight also dry with mostly clear skies partly to mostly sunny through your Thursday by Friday. This is where we see some rain returning to the area again Friday afternoon, and then this will just be occasional really just on and off as we go through the weekend and as we head into Monday and Tuesday of next week. But despite that rain kind of staying for a couple of days, not expecting a lot because of the breaks in the rain that we'll see, but also just because there won't be a lot of moisture for the system. So only up to about an inch of rain in the eastern thumb all the way through Wednesday morning. That's like a four to five day total. So definitely not expecting any flooding concerns as we go through the weekend and early next week. 70 forecast does have us cooling down with that system though. So we're back down to 48 by Monday, 50 by Tuesday. Those overnight lows back into the 30s. So that does bring some frost potential with it. Not exactly a freeze potential though, at least before the rainy weather returns to mid Michigan. We still have some drier weather today and for your Thursday to get outdoors and enjoy some of your late April weather. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.